Red increases by 25, green decreases by 30. This results in orange-yellow. All colors we see, including white, are formed by mixing these three types of light proportionally. These are primary colors. I understand that. But how about complex, colorful animations? How can these three be used? If we place pearls of these three colors into a grid and continuously shrink them, arranging them into an array, the color, pattern, and emission sequence of each grid are recorded as binary values, controlled by a computer, which can then generate complex animations. One grid is also called a pixel. Can't these light pixels be made any smaller? They still look quite rough. If they were smaller, solid materials could not be used for processing. Instead, colorful materials are heated and evaporated into gas molecules in a vacuum. These are then deposited three times onto the pixel substrate. How big are these molecular forms? 40 micrometers, which is half the width of a human hair. How can something so small light up when electrified? When electrified, electrons and holes meet in the middle emissive layer, much like how bubbles and flames attract each other. Electrons transition from a high energy level to a low energy level, releasing energy and emitting light. This is incredible. Surprisingly, there are 2 million light-emitting pixels inside. If each one could be shrunk tenfold, reaching 4 micrometers, the viewing distance could also be reduced tenfold. It's so close.